hello student so let us start our discussion in this tutorial uh, we will discuss types of instructions in previous tutorial uh, we have also discussed types of instructions so there we have discussed uh, uh, data transfer instruction then data manipulation instruction and then program control instruction in this tutorial we will try to continue our discussion with the program control instruction so here in uh, program control instruction uh, we will try to focus on uh, status bit so which are the status bit or uh, the bit which represent the status of uh, accumulator means uh, what is the output of uh, result uh, or operation so uh, that will be uh, used uh, to represent the status of individual operation so uh, let us try to discuss uh, all the uh, status bit one by one so we can have idea that uh, how actually uh, this uh, status bit can be helpful so if we start with the first status bit that is c so uh, c represent the carry so if addition of two number uh, result into uh, larger than the size of a bit okay for example here we have taken two eight bit register and if we are getting uh, seven uh, uh, sorry a nine bit answer okay in that case the ninth bit will be set into the uh, carry so uh, if there is output carry okay then uh, in case of output carry uh, carry flag will be set okay so if uh, output carry is one okay then carry flag will be set to one and if output carry is zero then carry flag will be set to zero so whatever carry will be there uh, accordingly that carry flag will be set next is sign bit so now when uh, sign flag will be used so whenever we are dealing with the uh, sign magnitude okay or sign number at that time this uh, sign bit will be used here you can see uh, MSB most significant bit will represent the sign. So if number is positive, okay, then uh, for positive number, value of sign bit will be set to uh, zero, and for negative number, value of sign bit will be set to one. Clear? So this is how it will work. Next bit is uh, zero, or next next flag is zero. So uh, we will have a mechanism which will check uh, whether all the uh, bits of the accumulators are zero or not. Okay, so if uh, let's say after performing operation or uh, whatever operation it may be, whether logical, arithmetic or shift, after performing the operation, if uh, resulting answer uh, is all bits are zero. Okay, in that case, uh, value of Z flag will be set to one. So if all bits of AC are zero then value of z flag will be one if any of bit is not zero for ac then value of z will be set to zero last one overflow So when overflow flag will be set, if you try to recall the uh, shift, uh, shift micro operation, okay, then uh, there, there we have discussed the arithmetic shift. So in uh, arithmetic shift, we have discussed that if we perform the arithmetic shift left and if uh, sign number, we are, we are working with the sign number, let's say we are working with the negative number and the first bit of negative number is zero, okay and then uh, if we perform arithmetic shift left then the one will be discarded and one will become zero okay so negative number will become positive number so this will result into overflow so at that time we have uh, seen that if the last two digit of uh, answer are uh, let's say uh, in unequal okay then at that time uh, this will result into overflow so uh, here 
if XOR of 2 MSB is 1, then overflow flag will be set and if it is 0, then overflow, value of overflow flag will be set to 0. Now, uh, this operations will be per, uh, helpful in uh, checking various conditions. For example, if you want to check the similarity of uh, two variable A and B, okay, so in that case, uh, XOR operation will be performed between A and B. And if all the bits are 0 and then 0 flag will be set. So, if 0 flag will be set, then uh, we can say that uh, A and B both are same. Okay. For example, value of A is let us say uh, 11010, uh, sorry, 1011. Okay. And uh, value of B is also let us say 1011011. So, if we perform the XOR operation, okay, then. Uh, value of all bit will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay. So, all the bits are 0. So, value of uh, Z flag will be set to 1. So, if value of Z is 1, then after performing operation, we can say that A and B are uh, same, okay. Let us say I want to perform a specific uh, bit, let us say 1, 0, uh, 1, 1 and then I want to check the value of this bit. This bit can be anything and uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, okay, and uh, value of uh, B is uh, let us say zero 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 one zero 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 zero. okay, and uh, end operation will be performed between A and B, okay, so if uh, uh, all the bits are uh, 0, okay, if we are getting all bits as a 0 then what we can say that the value of this bit will be uh, value of this bit will be 0 and if we are getting 1 then we can say that value of this bit is 1. So, uh, this is how uh, this various uh, uh, flags of CPU will help us to determine the uh, status of a register. So, now we will uh, start our discussion with the conditional branching. So, we will try to discuss what is conditional branching. So, if we try to discuss the various uh, instruction based on this uh, uh, flag, okay, then uh, uh, let me write down some instructions so you can have idea. Okay, so if we start with the first instruction, then first will be the branch if it is 0. So, if uh, Z flag will be set to 1, then there will be branch, then uh, uh, branch if not 0, so if value of Z flag is 0, then uh, branch will not take place. And then uh, branch if carry, so if carry flag is 1, uh, then uh, branch will take place. Then uh, next is uh, B and C, B and C means uh, branch if carry flag is not set. Then uh, next instruction is uh, branch if positive means if uh, value of sign bit is 0 then uh, next instruction is uh, branch if minus means if value of sign bit is 1 uh, then next instruction will be uh, branch if overflow so if value of over overflow flag is 1 then a branch will take place and uh, b and v branch if there is not overflow so uh, if value of uh, overflow flag is 0 then there will be no branch similarly uh, if we are going with the comparison, then uh, first instruction will be uh, let us say uh, BHI. So, BHI if uh, A greater than B means branch if higher. So, if A greater than B, then next is uh, BHE. Meaning of BHE is that uh, if A is uh, higher or equals to B means greater than or equals to B. Next instruction is uh, BLO, so branch if lower, so means A less than B. Then next instruction will be uh, you can say BLE, so if branch if uh, uh, A is less than or equals to B, so A less than or equals to B. Then next instruction will be uh, BE, means branch if equal. So if both numbers are equal, then uh, branch will take place so if a equals to b and then next instruction 
and then uh, b and e so branch if uh, both number are not equal so in that case a not equals to b now previously we have seen that how we can detect the equal number by performing the xor operation of a and b and if uh, z flag is set then uh, we can say both number are equal and if z flag is not set then we can say both number are not equal how we can say that a greater than b so we will perform the subtraction and after subtraction let's say if uh, sign bit is set means we are getting the negative answer then we can say a is less than b and uh, after subtraction let's say uh, sign bit and uh, zero uh, bit both are uh, set then we can say that uh, branch if uh, less than or equals to will be uh, means uh, branch for less than or equals to will take place so uh, this was for this was for uh, uh, you can send unsigned number now we will uh, go with the signed number so for signed number uh, we will uh, use uh, greater than so bgt means if a is greater than b then uh, bge means if a is greater than or equals to b next instruction blt means if a is less than b next instruction blt a is less than or equals to b then next instruction be means branch if equal so if a equals to b and last instruction will be b and e sorry for mistake a not equals to b okay so uh, this instruction set of this instruction will be used for we can say the uh, unsigned number okay and this will be used for uh, we can say signed number so uh, let me quickly write down uh, uh, the category so you can have idea so this will be used uh, this instruction will be used with uh, various status flag where we are not working with any numerical data or something like that or logical exp logical or uh, ship micro operation we are trying to implement this will be used whenever we are going with the unsigned number or unsigned comparison this will be used whenever we are going with the signed comparison so uh, we are having this uh, separate set, uh, separate set of instruction uh, for uh, uh, you can say each category now we will uh, try to go with the numerical example so in this video we will keep up to this in uh, next video we will see that how numerical example uh, will be calculated and accordingly uh, this uh, overflow zero sign and carry flag will be set and how it can be useful in uh, uh, predict uh, predicting the branch okay means a uh, branch will take place or how carry flag or various flag will be set according to the um, mathematical calculation or arithmetic calculation so we will keep up to this uh, we will uh, end our session here we will continue in next session thank you